Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing. In this tip, I'm talking about powerless arms versus floppy arms. So if you don't know anything about what I teach, now for over 25 years, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. To get that kind of golf swing, you have to loosen your arms. Okay, in no way am I hitting this golf ball with my arms. I'm using my body to hit the golf ball. My body is telling my arms how fast to swing. I'm getting the power because my wrists are really loose in my swing. All right, so I've been telling people to loosen up. And why would you not want to loosen up? If you've been sitting there whacking away at that golf ball as hard as you can, you got a chicken wing, your arms hurt, your back hurts, why would you want to keep doing that? Why would you not want to try and find a different way to do it? And if I can have what looks like a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing, then you should be able to do it too, right? It's just a different way of doing it. So like I said, I need you to loosen up your arms. Now some people seem to misunderstand what I'm saying. So let me just kind of demonstrate for you. So here's the difference, all right? So this is what I would call floppy arms. So if I was stepping up to this golf ball, you know, somebody gets so unbelievably loose with their arms that they start flopping the club all over the place. Okay, floppy arms. That is not what I teach and in no way do I want you to do that. What I want you to do is loosen up your arms, loosen up your wrists. So in my golf swing, I'm coiling up, I'm hinging my wrists, I'm uncoiling, which is allowing my arms to come down. In no way am I trying to pull this golf club down. My body is making my arms move. I'm getting the power because of the hinge being loose. Then as I'm hitting this golf ball, I allow my arms to stretch out. So you imagine if you tighten up your arms, you're gonna do a chicken wing through impact because you're contracting your arm muscles. Plus when you do that, you're gonna tighten up your wrists. If you're trying to hit real hard, you're gonna lock everything up. So if somebody's all locked up, what would I tell them to do? Well, I'd tell them to loosen up, okay? So that's all I'm saying when I'm talking about looser. So you feel your wrists loosening up. That's a good thing. And then you feel your arms loosen up. So they stretch out past impact. Right here with the driver, about three feet after contact, both arms would be perfectly straight. So if you're doing a chicken wing, you're contracting your arms. If they were totally loose and you let the golf club go, that would stretch your arms out. So to allow your arms to stretch out, you would need a looser feeling. Like I said, you're already tight and locked up. So loosen up, loosen up to the point that you feel the club stretching your arms out. So like I say, it's not this, it's not going here, you know, flopping them all over the place. Okay, I'm working the club back, then my wrists are loose, and my arms are loose enough to allow them to stretch out. All right, so the next time you come out to the range, if you've been kind of flopping them all over the place, that's not what I want. Just, uh, well, <laughs> think about it like this way. Just imagine, if there was two of you, there's one here and there's one here, exact same golf swing, except this one has looser wrists than this one. Who would hit the ball farther? It's pretty simple. The one with the looser wrists would hit the ball farther. That's because something that's looser swings faster than something that's tighter. All right, so think about that when you come out to the range. Oh, you're just going to do your same swing, but we're going to try to have really loose wrists. Okay, so try to do that first. Loosen up your wrists. Hinge, re-hinge. Then, once you kind of get that, do some swings like this. Just allow your arms to stretch out. That would be looser arms versus locked up arms. Okay, loosen up, and then try to hit your shot. Then you'll start developing that powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So if you want to learn more about how to build that swing, then head on over to BodySwing.com 
slash free samples, I'll send you some free samples of my book and video series that take you step by step by step how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. You know the one. It's the one you've hit that one ball in your life 30 to 50 yards farther than any other ball. Okay? That felt like nothing. Felt effortless. Yeah, that's the swing I teach. Powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So if you want to learn that type of swing, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples. I'll send you some free samples right away.